Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Dude, Where Is My Beer for more point-and-click adventure game action. We are back. We're where we left off. We're trying to get into this iPhone here, and I've done a bit of research. Now, I couldn't remember if the code was the year that the guy who created Guinness, who incidentally is called Arthur Guinness, was born, or if it was the year that he created Guinness. Now, I believe he was born in 1725, and he created Guinness in 1759, so we're going to have to try both of those codes, because uh, silly me didn't write it down what we needed to do. So, let's do what we did before. We'll use the controls on here. That will turn the TV off. Fix the TV! Sure, wait a sec, I just have to find the remote. Fix the TV now! Boo! Screw you! Right, he's gone. Right, let's use the iPhone. Use the, use the iPhone. There we go. Right. So, let's try 1725 first, because I'm... I'm thinking it was... Yes, okay, we're in. <laughs> it was history buff. I mean, I googled the answer, so I don't know if there was a way of finding out the answer in the game. I googled it. I, I didn't recall seeing anything about the founder of Guinness anywhere. Uh, oh, God. Okay, there's a lot of things on here. Photogram? What's pop? I have no idea what this is. I guess something related to craft beer. Time pop. I've heard about this one. It's where the secret group should be. Oh, okay, got it. Why is Arik in there? <laughs> I don't want to read private messages. Edo Brenners. Why is Vladimir Putin in here? User. Okay, we can only go into the secret chat, I think. Yeah, I think we can only go into the secret chat. This must be the secret chat group the guy in the tracksuit told me about. You know the world's best beer, right? Brewerge Descent. Oh my god. That's like, it looks like Belgian, maybe? What about it? No, I just read it's certainly not good anymore. What? I just had a 0.33 for 50 euros and you say it's not the best in the world anymore? Same here, just posted a picture on Untapped where I spilled some of it on my beard. <laughs> Haven't you checked Weight Beer today? Someone wrote that a beer called Half Liter is better, that's the one we're looking for. Really? Then I have to get some now before it becomes too common. No, guys, relax. Forget about Half Liter. Wanna know why? Why? Don't say it's super rare and it's worth millions because it's brewed by monks which no longer exist. That's not a problem, I know people who can find it. No, it's not that. The truth is that Harvliter is a pilsner. Ha ha ha, really? Ah, uh, I'd started to worry. Ha ha, pilsner, that was funny. Okay, thanks for the info. Then we don't need it. Everybody knows we don't drink pilsners around here. Uh oh. There was a super weird guy in my bar recently. He asked if I had pilsners. Yes, the same guy was here as well, asking for Pilsner. Okay, they're talking about us now. He must be confused. I think he actually likes Pilsners. Weird. I don't remember, but wasn't it you, Hoppy Sapiens 69 who had it? Yes, but I poured all of it out. I might have a bottle left somewhere, but I'm not sure. We know that name. That name was on the thing, wasn't it? Hang on. Well, well, well. Looks like there might be a Pilsner for me after all. I just need to find that hoppy underscore sapiens 69 guy. We know who that is because... Uh, how do we get out? I love the music on this TV show. We know who this is because that name, I remember saying it when we looked at this receipt and it was on the receipt. It's a takeaway receipt for Impossible Duck Sandwich. The price is 169 and OK. And the customer's name is hoppy sapiens 69. There we go. So, isn't that the name from the time part? Chute Grat Chat Group. So we know who it is. So, is it possible that now we can give this receipt to this guy and that's what we were waiting for? Do you have a complaint? No, but I'm trying to find this person. I believe he bought something here. Is this a receipt from your shop? I mean truck. <laughs> Let me see. Ah, impossible duck sandwich with no bread. Served over lettuce and kale with a twist of walnut on artisanal lemon lime light cinco de mayo. I know who this is. Uh, really? Finally, what is impossible duck sandwich? What is walnut artisanal lemon lime light cinco de mayo? Really? Fin <laughs> finally. Yes, please, I need to find him. It says Hoppy Sapiens 69. Yeah, we know that. Do you know that this is not his real name? I'm not stupid, man. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> really? 
Yes, it's a nickname he uses online. Don't tell him I told you. We won't. Uh, I can't promise you that. Sure. So what's his real name? Zorhodrag Blackgrold. Oh my god. Is that his real name? Yes, you see, he has a normal name like we all do. Yes, thank you. It wasn't much, was it? Yes, you can't imagine. By the way, do you know where I can find him? Sorry, we may be a vehicle, but we don't deliver. Oh no. Okay, so we're going to have to find him then. <laughs> Brilliant, okay. I mean, I, I... What was it? Zobby or something. Something like that. Maybe we can just like hover over all these people and see if any of these people match the name. Oh, I wonder if this guy with a checkered shirt. Hello. I don't think he's here with us. Okay, maybe not. So yeah, I think that's probably what we're going to have to do. I'm probably going to have to walk all the streets and the bars and see if anyone has that name. Gus, friendly monster, Willa, Jagger. Uh, Coco Jeans, Dreamy Pam. Uh, maybe the crypt? Maybe he's in the crypt. Okay, I refuse to go in there sober. Uh, hang on, let's check here then group of hipster individuals. Could it be one of these guys? Apparently not. We can't disturb them. Uh, it's not that guy. That's Jamal. Anyone in here, perhaps? I mean, we need to come in here for a beer anyway, so... Uh, Ed, Nikita, Pierre, Lex, Quiz King, Ozzy... It wasn't Ozzy, was it? Old Jacob, Tinderman... Quizza. No, it's not Zola, was it? Although the name. Zayo. No. Okay, we can't go in there. Can we go up the stairs yet? No. Okay. Oh, no. I wanted to get a beer, didn't I? Let's, uh. Okay, let's talk to Zola. Oh, hang on. Do you know somebody called Zorhadrag? That's what we want to know. Nope. Sounds like a really dark, full bodied, strong porter. What's Porter? Never mind. Okay, can I have a cloudy day today, please? Right. We'll keep that for the time being. Because when we find this person, we will probably need to drink that because we're sober. So, Isla, Tate. Uh, right, let's go. We won't go through there yet. Let's go to the other area. I don't... Eric, Sylvie, unless it's the guy who was working in here, perhaps. Could it be the guy who was doing the work on the wall? Worker, it's not Bahir. Worker. Okay, okay. Right, let's use this. Just in case it is him. Isn't it enough? We unlocked an achievement. That's probably for drinking a certain amount of beers or something. Okay, I don't need to talk to this guy, so it's not. In which case, let's uh, let's ask him about Zorda, Zorha Drag. What? No. Okay, he doesn't know who that is. They probably don't even know people by their real names, I'm guessing. They probably just know them from the chat. So ask him for like the full name. We've been that way, haven't we? Because that takes us back to where we were. So let's try the original street then, back by the bus station. Oh, he's got to be somewhere down here, right? Because... I mean, I'm assuming it's a he. Did it, did it say it was a he? I don't actually remember, to be honest. Okay, is there anything in the men's toilet? Someone's still in there. I don't... Okay, we can't go down there yet. Let's check in this pub as well. Ah, Yola. This person's new. Who's this? Uh, what do you work with? I work as a UI UX designer. Is it some kind of graphic designer? UI UX design is the highest level in the graphic design business. Underpaid graphic designers create the design, while I work with Axel UX Pin Sketch Og Balsamic. Okay. And it's me who creates 99% of the product. I have no idea what you're talking about. We have to implement the design with focus on wireframing and of course prototyping. I must be able to work with iteration beta testing, 
competitor analysis, customer analysis, development planning. <laughs> Do you know why I'm laughing? Uh, sure. I'm super excited now. It's a UI UX joke. A user interface is like a joke. If you have to explain it, it's not that good. <laughs> I see. Don't you have an office where you can work? Why sit in a stinky office when I can chill out at cool places like this underground pub? With my job, all I can work from wherever I want. All I need is my iMac Box Pro 2. Theoretically, I could work from wherever I want in the world. Bali, Costa Rica, Manhattan, you name it. Why don't you do that? Eh. First, when I leave for a couple of days, I start missing Oslo. I'm very tired of Oslo, but I love it. It's a very ugly city, but wherever I am in the world, I miss Gruner Lurker. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I miss all the people, the Oslo tram, even the junkies. Oslo. And secondly... Second, I don't have money. <laughs> okay, do you know anything about beer? Funny you should ask. Why? UI UX design and beer are what I know about the most. These two topics are very similar. How? It's for people like you I'm writing a blog. Oh my god, I wonder if that's a real WordPress blog. Have you read it? Uh, sure, sure. Good, it's my most popular post. With over 100 unique readers from 12 countries. 78 without spam bots. <laughs> I write a humoristic post. I'm trying to keep a relaxed tone for my readers. Hehehe. <laughs> anyway, do you know what UI design is? Yes, you just told me. Uh, useful idiot. <laughs> what? No. Isn't it a band? What? No. It's U1, or is it U2? University of Iceland? What? No. That's what I would like to know. Anyway, the goal of user interface design is to make the user's interaction as simple and effective as possible when it comes to achieving user goals. Right? I don't know. So, is beer in a way? How? You can read more about it, oh my god. <laughs> I genuinely want to know if these are real things. Uh, okay. Do you know anyone called Zorhadrag Blackgrold? Unless that's him, of course. Wow, what a hip name. I wish I had such a cool name. And what's your name? Bearded Blogger 14, but it's just my blogger name. What's your real name? Yola. Can I check something in the yellow? Oh, maybe we can look him up in the yellow pages. Of course. Thanks. Let me just find a charger repair service. My iPhone is dead. This is 2020 and I'm using the yellow pages. Of course, I could check for the service online, but my Mac is dead as well and won't charge. You see the irony? Listen, I just need... Wait, maybe this, is, this one is the right one? No, this one sounds unprofessional. Anything I can help with? Perhaps you could find a new charger for my iMac Box Pro 2 or 11, I don't know. Have you tried Radio Shack? Hey, <laughs> it's not that simple. You know what, just forget it, okay? No, I want to help you. My Mac is custom made and modified so I can easily work with clickable prototyping, interaction design, testing, optimization of existence, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Definition of UX lifecycle, you name it. Take it or leave it. What kind of charger do you need? Whatever you find, as long as it works. Okay, if you give me your charger, I can take a look at it. I appreciate it. I could have done it earlier, but you know, I'm a Mac guy. I'm not used to fixing things by myself. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, apologies if any of you use Macs. That cracked me up big time. Right, okay. Charger. <laughs> a MacBook charger. Can we do anything with this? Can't open it. So we need to get it fixed, right? We can't use the yellow pages because this dude needs his charger repaired. Uh, can we do anything using the plug here? Actually, can we just plug it in? Will that work? Doesn't sound smart. Uh, can we take this out? No. Hmm, so we need to find a charger or someone who can fix a charger then I'm not sure who that would be really um, have we even seen anyone who looks like they could repair a phone charger <laughs> trying to think now um, I'm not sure if we have actually maybe we do we see a charger lying around in any of the other pubs? I don't recall one, but maybe we did.
anything in here? Don't see one. <laughs> Unless the news agent guy likes quite often in this country where I live anyway, quite often places like this do like phone unlocking and charges and things as well. No, I shouldn't, okay. We can try asking him, I suppose. Oh yeah, we don't have any alcohol. Uh let's use this one then. And then we'll see if he can help us. I'm trying to think where else we might have seen a phone charger. <laughs> Maybe in the Niven bar? I don't know. <gasps> Maybe in here, actually. Uh, can we give this to Jamal? No. Okay, I shouldn't. Did we have anything in here that's plugged in? Doesn't look like it, no. Okay then, we'll leave it there for this one. We've made a bit of progress, but now we need to find a charger or someone who can repair a charger. So we'll do that in the next one, but things are going pretty well. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.